know, there are some days where you fall down and you're in pain and you have to get back up. You want to use that pain as a motivator, but damn it, it hurts and it's hard to get up. So you look for other things for motivation. One of the biggest motivations I have in life is my kids. It's hard for me to talk about. I don't think I can. At the time of that recording, I was still dealing with the emotions of having gone through divorce and lost the full-time custody of my kids. See, I needed a hat. I wasn't ready to go without the hat. Hello, Internet. The reason I bring up my kids is because in this episode of These Jobs I Do, I want to talk about one job that I've been complimented on many times. And I couldn't quite figure out why until I realized... Well, it's because I've been doing it for years. It's the job of caregiving. While taking these jobs, I was able to realize that my life or job of being a father is that of being a caregiver. But in the past few years, I haven't had to be a full-time caregiver for my kids as they've grown older. So I found other people to take care of. My stated goal in life has always been to help as many people as possible. This job here that I do allowed me to help people directly, one-on-one, -on -one, making one person or multiple people's lives better. But it's a bit awkward, and it's a little tough, and they need more help. I have thought about this for a while and think that it should almost be mandatory coming out of high school that you should have to take an elective class working in home health care and or hospice end-of-life care. Leaving high school, I felt a little lost. While I had a good full-time job, I did not know what I wanted to do for the future, and I knew that I had to go into school, so I decided to get an education in what I loved, which was the creation of media. Had I known these jobs existed many years ago, I may have chosen a different path where I could help people directly from the start. Instead, I fell in love with cinema and tried my best to make vlog. So here from my platform, I'm going to continue to make and create and do what I can but draw attention to the needs of some of these elderly people, as well as try to convince some of you people who are just sitting here listening to the sound of my voice to invest your time in healthcare. We as a society need to recognize is that we're gonna have a lot more people going into this end of life and elderly care, and we are going to need people, people capable of working with adults in this industry. The biggest problem I foresee in this is that the healthcare industry is very complicated. And the truth is, with the healthcare system being what it is, for most people, they won't be able to afford to pay someone to help them. They're going to have to go through it alone. Or with family, who are going to be tired, overworked, and even more underpaid. Good luck, everyone.